what is parallel processing, what is multi-processing, what is multi-threading. In this video, I will answer all of these questions. Today, we'll explore parallel and concurrent programming with Julia, a language designed to make high-performance computing as simple as possible. Before we go further, let me define some terms to avoid confusion. What is a core? A core is a processing unit within a CPU, equipped with its own resources, catches, arithmetic logic units, but potentially sharing some with other cores. What is multi-threading? Programming aimed at parallel execution on multiple CPU cores on a single machine, sharing the same pool of memory among threads. What is multiprocessing? A programming style where tasks are executed by different processes, either on a single machine or across multiple machines, with separate memory areas for each process. The difference between the two is shown in a table. When using the Julia repo or running a program, Julia defaults to one thread unless the dash T option is specified. To utilize all available threads, use dash T auto, which employs all logical threads. However, this may not be optimal. A better choice is dash tn, where n is the number of physical cores. For instance, Intel Core processors use hyper-threading to provide two logical cores per physical core, which can either improve or degrade performance depending on the task. Within a program or in the Julia repo, we can check for the number of available threads with nthreads function, which reports the total number in use and is blind to how many of them represent real cores. Before I show you the example for using threads, make sure that you have set the Julia numThreads environment variable to the desired number of threads. The primary tool for multi-threading in Julia is the threads macro included in base and always accessible. To execute a loop in parallel, simply prepend the macro to the loop. I have demonstrated the time taken for the loop to run both sequentially and in parallel. In the parallel sum with lock function, result is an atomic variable threads.atomicflout64 designed for safe concurrent access by multiple threads. Atomic variables ensure that operations like reading, writing, or modifying are performed atomically, indivisible and interference-free, preventing race conditions which occur when multiple threads access and modify a shared variable simultaneously, leading to unpredictable results. This makes atomic variables essential for maintaining correctness in multi-threaded programs. The multi-processed counterpart to the threads macro is the distributed macro. While the former splits a loop into a set of large, parallel tasks across the threads of the local machine or process, the latter breaks the loop into a series of larger tasks distributed across processes, which can span multiple machines on a network. 